If you are Warren Buffett, the same rules don't apply to you. Over the past six months, he has been buying a stock and he has asked the SEC to keep it secret. In other words, he's building a big position on a company but doesn't want anyone to know about it. But we can be smart about it. We can try to find out which stock he's buying. So any person or institution managing over 100 million US dollars, every quarter they have to file a 13F form. In the 13F form, they are going to inform the public all their trades, investments they are buying, investments they are selling. So Berkshire has to be managing assets nearly worth $1 trillion, of course. Every quarter, they have to file a 13F. And on the 16th of November 2023, when Warren Buffett filed his 13F, he mentioned something there. Confidential treatment requested. The manager has omitted one or more holdings from this 13F form and is requesting a confidential treatment based on Rule 24B2. The next step for us is to go on the side of the SEC and find out what is this Rule 24B2. So the rule gives us some requirements in order for you to keep your investments secret. What are these requirements? Number one, you need to have a specific program. It's not like you're buying a stock, you don't want anyone to know about it. You built a big position on the stock, and then after three months, you're going to just sell the stock, take a profit. This is not going to work. You need to make the SEC understand why you're buying this particular company. So if let's say you're a long-term value investor like Warren Buffett, he can say he's buying this stock. He has uh, over $150 billion in cash and cash equivalents. So he cannot really make investments right now. And there's this company that is big enough for him to move the needle in his portfolio but he needs this secret because if he buys the company everyone will know about it everyone will buy the stock too and the stock will go up he won't be able to buy enough of it requirement number two is that the program is ongoing it's not something that he will do just for one quarter it's something that has to be done so over the long term number three is that the disclosure would reveal the strategy so if he was buying a stock and he doesn't want us to know that he's buying the stock. Of course, if he discloses it, everyone will know he's buying the stock. Why they talk about strategy, it's not just for Warren Buffett. This rule can apply to anyone. If there is a fund that uh, has another strategy, maybe activism, it applies to them too. And requirement number four is demonstrable harm from disclosure. So if he is buying a stock and everyone knows about it, everyone will buy the same stock, he's not going to build a big enough position and the stock price will go up. This is harming him. To summarize everything, what are these requirements he's meeting? He's making one investment or even maybe two investments, but he doesn't want the public to know about it because if they know about it, they will know his strategy and the price will go up. He won't be able to buy enough. In simple terms, Warren Buffett with $150 billion in cash and cash equivalents, he meets these requirements. So what is this one investment he's making now? To understand it, we have to look at another form, the 10 q form. The thank you form is the form that every public company files every quarter to report their earnings. And Berkshire Hathaway, they report their equity investments in three different categories. Category number one is banks, insurances, and finance. Category number two is consumer products. And category number three is commercial, industrial, and others. So you will see that there are two different columns, cost basis and the market price. Cost basis is the actual price that they bought the securities. So if we want to find the investment that Warren Buffett is making, we will need to look at the cost basis. So if we compare the 10 q form that was issued in the second quarter of 2023 with the 10 q form issued in the third quarter of 2023, we we'll see that there is a 1.2 billion US dollar investment in the banks, insurance and finances section, which is missing. It is unaccounted for because if we look at the 13F filing, we won't see that he bought a new bank, a new insurance, a new financial company. So it should be in that particular category, banks, insurances, and finance. So he's either buying a bank, an insurance company, or financial services company. And in the latest filing, the latest 10K form, you will see that the cost basis for this category is 24.7 billion versus 23.5 billion just two quarters earlier. So he invested 3.6 billion US dollars in the last six months in a company that is keeping a secret. And so far, we only know that it is in the financial industry. If you are liking this investigation so far, please make sure to smash the like button so that this video spreads throughout the YouTube universe. Our next step now is to try to think 
which is this investment. He's not buying a bank. He's not buying an insurance company. He bought so many banks before. He bought so many insurance companies before. Why hide it? It is possible, yes, but it is unlikely. Why ask? Let's say, for example, he was buying JP Morgan shares, which many people are suggesting. Why hide it? There is no need. He bought JPM before. He bought West Fargo before. He bought Goldman Sachs before. Some people are saying, okay, Charles Schwab. Why hide it? There is no need to hide the fact that he's buying a bank or an insurance company. He made it before. He made this type of trades before. So it should be something that is different. That if really the market sees him do that, everyone will follow him and the stock price will go up. So it should be something that is quite volatile, something with high trading volume. So if we compare JPM with another financial stock, which is quite volatile, which is called PayPal. I don't know if you've heard of that company. You will see that JPM has 2.3 times more shares than PayPal, but the shares of PayPal are traded three times more often, the volume. So this is a stock that people buy a lot, people sell a lot. There's a lot of option trading on that stock. So if let's say, for example, Warren Buffett was buying this financial stock, it would make sense if he would want it to be secret. I know what you might be thinking. This is not a stock which he would usually buy. This is a tech stock and he doesn't buy tech stocks. He bought Apple and if someone understands the business of Apple, if someone understands the business of American Express, someone understands the business of Visa, he has previously invested in all these companies. It is not hard for that someone to understand the business of PayPal because even if it is a technology company, it is not hard to understand. And he likes companies that people use. Venmo is very popular in the United States. Maybe his grandchildren ask him to Venmo them money for their birthday or Christmas or whatever. And uh, he look at the company and he like it. Probably, I don't know. I'm just giving you an example. For me as a value investor, I have invested in PayPal. You can find the whole analysis of PayPal on the Super Investors Club, which is my latest venture. On the Super Investors Club, you can go there, you can chat, you can post your analysis, you can learn more about investing. There are courses there. So please have a look. You can have a 10 day free trial if you're interested. Just to give you a glimpse of the valuations of PayPal, it is a tech company, a growth company, trading at 15 times free cash flow. Even though in recent years, the company has not been growing that much. It is still a company that can grow over the long term. It has slowed down, but that doesn't mean that it will not grow. 25% of all e-commerce go through PayPal. And if you're joining the Super Investors Club, you will see that you're making your payment through PayPal. So for me, PayPal is a bargain today. That's why I'm investing in the company. And Warren Buffett is a value investor. It is a stock that he can also buy. Now this is pure speculation. We don't know which stock is actually buying. And probably I will be wrong about this speculation. So I don't want of the six months someone commenting on this video or on another video that was sharing rumors. This is not a, really a rumor, even though I saw other people talking about it. It's more about trying to investigate, even though it doesn't really matter for me if Warren Buffett is investing in the company or not. But you try to investigate, you try to understand how the SEC works, how these rules work. This is what's important. And that's the reason why I made this video to do. It's about investigating because as an investor, you're making research, you need to know how to investigate. So I will suggest you watch this video about PayPal. Maybe probably he's buying it. Have a nice day and goodbye.